Adventure fam. Um, I've had a, a ton of people ask me about um, my new Sprinter van conversion, and I, I'm gonna use that term super loosely because um, I got this Sprinter van with uh, the thought of using it for something else for the business, but um, that quickly changed and I had seven days to build it out. So in seven days, this is what I've done with a little help from my human. Uh, he and I just kind of measured things and threw it together as fast as we could um, to make it livable and comfortable. Um, we are intending to gut this whole thing and we do it uh, this uh, this winter at some point. We live in San Diego, so there's not really actually winter. So, um, you know, we'll keep you updated when we do that. But so far, this is what we've got going on. Um, this is a 2010 Sprinter van Freightliner uh, engine and dually. It's diesel and it's super powerful. It's the biggest one you can get on the market. Uh, we wanted to have as much space as possible. O originally, like I said, it was gonna have like kayaks and paddle boards and all these things in it. Um, but now it's my new house as I build it out, um, or future house, I guess. But right now it's for all my van life and traveling that I do for work. Um, it is cool because I do have a home base. So while I'm here, I can plug in. Uh, so we don't have all the like solar and everything hooked up yet. Uh, basically because we're gonna do a rebuild but you'll see I'll show you that it's like plugged into um, my house and my garage to get power so and it's a little messy so you're gonna have to excuse that mess but um, that's what happens when you when you live and travel in a van um, also you may see an animal or two because my animals are part of my life they're my kids and they're in and out of this thing like constantly and they do travel with me so um, yeah I guess you can come on inside <laughs> like I said excuse the mess Okay, so first things first, um, it was really important that where I was traveling, lots and lots and lots of bugs, and now even in San Diego, uh, it's fly season in September, it just is. This, if you're a local San Diegan, PB or whatever, you know that they they're get really bad. Um, so the mosquito net, and it's come in really, really handy. Um, it did not, however, hold up in really hot temps, so I had to... Uh, modify it with um, some extra hardcore glue back there, which I can rip off when I redo it. But for now it works, you know, just do what you can in seven days. <laughs> okay, so where should I start? Let's start with basics. What did I need? I, I knew what I, what did I need to get this done to be livable? I needed some sort of cooking space, somewhere to store my food and a really comfortable bed. And obviously a reliable van. <laughs> so check one, reliable van, um, got that. Two, I was kind of going back and forth with what to do with the kitchen and I just went to uh, Ikea and uh, ended up with this sink. I, it, it was the second time I went to Ikea in a week and ended up with this because everything else didn't work. So I just bought a pre-made sink and added all these fun little add-ons that just literally just hook on um can come off so you can sort of put whatever you need in there mine's all very 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 basic so it's all just like let's see what's in here all this dvd stuff right um washing cleaning cooking um i have a huge coleman stove actually i have two of those um but because generally it's just me when i'm traveling Right now, um, I just wanted to have something really simple. So I just got this, literally this swap meat for like 15 bucks and it uses butane and it's cheap and easy. And I brought my favorite pan and that's how I cook. Simple, simple meals. Um, and then the sink, I didn't do the plumbing yet because I didn't think that that, uh, I knew that this wasn't gonna be the final model. So what I did do, or we did, I don't take all the credit, but we did put the sink in, but then we added, um, if you want to come down here, uh, the bucket's down here. So we just basically, it's a drainage system. And this is full of water, just in case emergency water, and I keep a ton of water in here. That's, I have to say the one thing that I underestimated when I, when I built this was how much water I actually go through and how much I love turning on a faucet and getting running water, but <laughs> that's for the next build out. Um, anyway, so underneath here, since we're here already, um, 
is just some basic cooking stuff. So in here I have all like my drinks, coffee, powder coffee. Um, I did try to have a, uh, a little cooler, but it just didn't work out. Um, it didn't keep things as cold as I would have liked. The motor burned out on it. it was, I plugged it into the van and it like shorted out. And so I literally have just been <laughs> getting used to eating non-refrigerated things, which is, you know, it is what it is. Um, but super simple stuff. I think also in here is, oh yeah. So just carbonated soda or uh, soda waters and a lot of hydration packets just cause I'm like, I'm out in the mountains a lot or the desert or whatever, and it's really easy to get dehydrated. So you have to remember to hydrate. Um, some of my spices, I've got a ton more spices and canned goods in here. And then um, the rest of my cooking stuff is in here. So really simple, easy to make meals that don't take a whole lot of prep. Just because I'm generally, like I said, when I'm in this, it's for work. And so I have to get up and go, or I have to leave the van and go into the back country. So, um, it has to be stuff that doesn't spoil on that note, make sure to lock everything up because I've had two different mice move in and they both left alive, but, uh, you know, it was a battle. Um, you don't want mice to move in. Um, and that's because I left some banana chips out on the last trip. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so there's the kitchen. Easy peasy. Um, for the floor, whoop, almost fell over. For the floor, uh, all we did was get rugs because this is gonna get pulled up and done uh, laminate floor when I'm ready, but right now it's fine. Um, that's for Jameson, all of his stuff, all his treats, all his CBD, all his chew toys, all of that. I don't know. I mean, they don't really stay in there. They end up down here because JMO travels with me most of the time. Let's see if we can get him up here so we can get out of the way. <laughs> Say hi, Jay. Okay, get your baby. Get your baby. Let's go up up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of the way. Come on. Jameson, come. Come on. Or stay right here. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I don't know if you can see because is JMO on the way? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is kind of where everything is that I need super accessible all the time. Um, water, local H2O, shout out. They're amazing, PB. If you get your water from anywhere, get it from there. They're great people, um, support local business. Uh, and then I have, I bought this thing, which I'm really trying to make use out of, but like, it's not really, not really all that user-friendly because the hooks come undone, but it works for now. So this is where I keep all the dishware, that I use, you know, you don't need a whole lot, just like a cup. <laughs> it's my coffee cup, it's my wine cup, it's my water cup. Um, all the platypus bags that I use when I go out into the back country, that kind of thing. So, uh, there's that. And of course that's, what's happening? Let's do it this way, let's see if it sticks. Okay, you can see everything's bungeed in right now too. That's because we just moved it to get one of the dually tires fixed. So that's the other thing. It can't really be all that nice looking right now and look pretty because it's constantly moving. So everything has to be bungeed down, locked down tight. I've had a couple of accidents where things have kind of flown all over the place and that's not fun while you're driving to have to fix that situation. Um, reading material, um, Untethered Soul, awesome book. Uh, and of course, more hydration packets right next to the June Shine and the White Claw, of course. <laughs> um, and then I had to get kind of clever about getting another seating place. So um, I literally just found this at like a home goods store and it doubles as a shoe holder and then also um, whiskey for on the trail, of course. Shout out to Screwball, um, local company. That back you will notice that some of this is kind of screwed up and the paneling um it just is what it is this used to haul tools fast line tools i believe and so this is it does insulate a little bit but not a whole bunch but honestly it's so warm in san diego right now Ugh, who needs it and warm around everywhere i'm going that i don't need that just yet um now i have a ton of storage so i'll kind of show you the storage area 
So that is underneath the van. May or may not see another furry animal under there. I have no idea. <laughs> Anyone in there? Um. <laughs> There's Stewie. Stewie in there? Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> of course he is. Like I said, they really like the van. Um, this was a really quick and easy build. Like I said, all of this took seven days. So this bed um, is... Okay, so we went to Ikea again, and I, we found this bed frame. Check the, like, returns in Ikea, because this is where we found this bed frame, and it's really simple. It's just bed slats that we hooked together, and it was, like, I think $30 or $25 or something, and we bought the mattress on OfferUp, and it's Tempur-Pedic, and it's huge, and we got it for 30 so, like, super score. Um, we are going to raise this bed frame just a little bit, because when we travel more, we want a bigger area for the doggos to sleep underneath, because just do. Um, but that'll be later build. So that's that. Uh, let's see. I have my clothing under here. This is just all the stuff that I want to get to uh, on a daily basis. I know it's a mess, sorry, but I come home and leave all the time. So it's just, that's what it looks like when it's lived in. Uh, lighting, okay. This is like the easiest thing ever. So if you look up around anywhere, we have these little stick on lights. Home Depot, super easy. <laughs> Battery powered, stick them up there. Uh, obviously I'll put lighting in later, but they work great. Um, couple of comforts that I did want, I know it sounds silly, but uh, I, I wanted cup holders. So we have four cup holders in here and it's probably a little excessive, but I don't care, whatever. So the one right here, if you look around in the van, you'll see a couple more, but um, it, it makes a difference when you're sitting in bed, which is also your office, which is also your hangout spot. Cup holders everywhere. Um, along with that, day one sleeping in the bed, I realized that I needed to have a rail next to the bed. <laughs> All my stuff fell through onto the floor. So. <laughs> Uh, that was a quick rebuild of the bed frame and we added these and then problem solved, nothing falls through. So that's good. What else? Okay. Um, just a hat rack or a little bit of comfort right there. Um, again, all this stuff comes off cause when we start moving the van, it, everything falls. Uh, the bed is a queen size bed. Uh, it does take up a bunch of room, but my biggest things are I want a, a good bed and I want a good kitchen. So I have a good bed. The kitchen's a whole nother story. We'll get there when we get there. Um, okay, what else is in here? Shape back up. This is really important and I'll talk about this a lot more in a different video, but how am I powering up, right? <laughs> okay, so because I haven't hooked anything up yet permanently, um, I, I use my Yeti. Uh, the Goal Zero is a, it's amazing. I absolutely love this. I travel with it everywhere, uh, even when I do car camping or, or whatever. I can literally hook up my solar power uh, panel to this outside and charge it, and it's good to go. Uh, and it powers, you know, all of my electronics, which are right here in my home office right now, <laughs> or road home office. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this, but I'll go, I'll go over the breakdown on this later in another video, but it does essentially power everything that I need while I'm on the road. So while I'm not on the road, uh, because I am parked right now and getting ready to leave again tomorrow morning, I have powered up to um, a power station and I have a, uh, what's the word, extension cord running through from the garage out here while I work on this and keep improving it. So it usually has the fan going and the goal zero charging and any other electronics that I wanna charge, I can utilize that power while I'm at my house, so. Okay, I think that's good for the inside. Uh, I decorated as best I could to try to cover it up and make it homey. Oh, this is fun, totally forgot, okay. This lighting is super, super fun. Um, and it looks a little ghetto rigged and silly, but it's, maybe we can get it on. I think it might be too too bright outside to get it on, to actually like 
showcase it, but uh, it was paddleboard lighting for the underneath of paddleboards. And I took that off and uh, put it in up here and stuck it. But again, it was another thing that it was too hot, so it fell off. So just be wary of putting things up that say they're adhesive and they're gonna stick and they're guaranteed because they're, they're not gonna in extreme, extreme heat, which it does get really, really, really hot in here. Um, so just fair warning, like zip ties are your best friend if you're doing a really fast build out. Uh, okay, so maybe we'll just go outside and I'll show you the back of it. <laughs> okay, welcome to the back of the van. Super exciting, right? Real quick, we're gonna go over it, wrap it up, because it's really not that exciting. But um, underneath here right now is where I keep all the extra storage gear that I need. Uh, my backpacking pack, my super rad Sonic Zero sleeping bag, sleeping pad, extra stuff, chairs, um, doggo gear, hammock, things like that. And then my portable shower, outdoor shower, which is super cool. Um, basically, I just kind of hang it up on the door and then I put a curtain up and then I've got an outdoor shower, which is really, really bad. Super great, it runs off USB. Uh, and then I have the, one of the solar panels of four that are going up on top of the van. Um, but right now it's just been really easy for me to kind of like lug it out and put it up there. I just don't want to put too much on the top of the van until <laughs> it's completely designed. As you can see, we did put up a, a vent fan, which makes all the difference in the world. Uh, I cannot tell you how much that's changed uh, the airflow in the van, but I'm gonna put up another one. So that's one, there's gonna be another one in the front of the van. Um, and that's not done being put in, there's still, we still have to put the bracket around it, but it is what it is for now. So uh, I think that's just about it. Um, a couple of hooks just in case I need to hang anything. This has also become kind of a workout station. So I do like my push-ups and dips and um, things like that while I'm on the road and I can't get an adequate workout in. Just remember that the back end of your sprinter will work. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, so welcome to the seven day build. Um, it cost about 1500 total to get everything in here and done. So if you have any questions about it, about this funny little build I did, um, please message me uh, and then if you like it, go ahead and like it. And if you want some more videos like this, you wanna see all the things I'm up to uh, or all the gear that I'm gonna be talking about that I've been using or have used, liked or didn't like, just subscribe. Car just drove by. I don't even know if you got that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you later guys.